technique that everybody who's doing bag work really should have in their arsenal and really should be practicing probably every time that you train on the bag is skip knees on the bag. Now, when you're fighting a person or if you're doing pad work with a person who's got pads, they have a head and they have shoulders and a chest. When you go into that plum, you're gonna put your, you're gonna place your elbow onto their chest and the palm of your glove is gonna find the apple of their head and you're gonna come into that plum situation and then you can pull them into your knees like that. On the bag, it doesn't have a head or shoulders. So what I've gotta do is I've just gotta simulate it. All the important thing here is practice wise is you wanna be tight on your clinch entry. So you don't wanna come into the clinch like that because that's not the way that you would enter on a person. So you wanna come tight, you wanna cut tight to that angle and you wanna bring your elbow right next to the bag. So when you come into that clinch, rear hand stays high, right on your face or up on your eyebrow even better and you're gonna put the elbow right against the bag here. So you're gonna just graze across until you get into that grab. So you shoot off of that back foot, come into that clinch. Yeah. Then you grab with the other hand, and now we're in the clinch here. I'm gonna to squeeze together with my elbows, and I'm gonna keep my chin down. Now when I come into skip knees, I'm gonna hit with the rear knee first, and then it's gonna come down in the front. So after this right knee hits, it's gonna come down in the front. At the same time, I'm gonna skip the left foot back. Boom, okay? Then I come up into the left and do the same thing on the opposite side. B and back. B and back. B, 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 B. This is an invaluable staple to work into your bag work, and really there's no problem with working this onto the end of every bag round. So I'm just working the bag, I'm hitting it with different things. Right? Okay. Let's say I've decided at the end of my bag rounds I'm gonna finish in the last 10 seconds, I'm gonna clinch up and I'm gonna do 20 skip knees. So then it comes down to the last 10 seconds. I'm hitting. Last 10 seconds comes up on the clock. I'm gonna dig, find that clinch on the bag. Other hand, and I'm gonna come into 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, 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 four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, 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 releasing the clinch like this. I want to break the way that I want to break. So after I hit my last elbows, push with my elbows on the bag forward off of my back foot and create some space. You can see, of course, I'm coming back from injury, but you can see just that one set of clinch knees has got me breathing heavy. So you guys want to work that into your training. It's going to get your cardio up and it's going to get you better in the clinch. Cuff and cut.